Hey, welcome to Picture Line. Uh, today we have Lewis from Fuji, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the GFX 100S and the new 80 millimeter uh, f 1.7 lens that's just coming out. So, Lewis, what uh, what can you tell us about this new camera? So, the new camera GFX 100S is going to be uh, much lighter and uh, smaller than our GFX 100. Uh, actually, by weight, it'll be 500 grams at 30% lighter. It's actually going to be lighter than the GFX uh, 50S. We have the camera here, and, and looking at that camera, boy, is it a, a, a small camera. And it feels really good, too. I, I really like what, uh, what Fuji has done with this camera. It looks and feels really nice. It's light, for sure. Um, so, you know, how many megapixels is this camera? So megapixels has the same spec as the 100. So we'll uh -huh. do 102 megapixel, same specs for video, 12-bit ProRes output through HDMI. It's also five frames uh, per second for mechanical. Also, we also have a new IBIS. It's actually six, uh, six stops compared to five stops on the GFX 100. Oh, that's also, cool. We have a new, the new battery MPW. Uh, 235, so it makes it also part of the compact design. Yeah, so that's the same battery that, that say, the X-T4 is using, is that correct? That is correct. So from the GFX 100S, you get about 460 frames. So uh, okay, it's pretty good for life. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. That's great. You know, the, the for sure, the compact size of that is uh, warrants that, that battery and things like that. So yeah, it, this is like a this is like a, a, a normal DSLR camera, mirrorless camera uh, size. I mean, it, it isn't much bigger than, than a lot of these other competitors that are full frame camera competitors, but this now we have a larger sensor to it. That's exciting. Yeah, no, it's very exciting uh, having a medium format that it's very compact and great performance uh, in focusing, uh, of course, some resolution, uh, dynamic range. Now, with the new, you mentioned uh, the IBIS on this camera and things like that. Uh, GFX 100 came out with a uh, with the multi shot and things like that. Will this camera have that same multi shot? Uh, yes, when it gets released, it will have the multi shot. Uh, so pretty okay. much everything that the 100 uh, it's capable, this will have the same specs. So, I mean, with that, why? Uh, it, let, let's. What are the differences maybe between? A GFX 100 and the 100S. What's what's some main differences between them? Well, the main difference is uh, the electronic viewfinder is not removable, and then and no battery grip. And no battery grip, so it keeps it very compact um, in in that design. But other than that, we're we're talking. It's a it's a very similar camera. Yes, it is very similar, just in a more compact design. Uh, great for. I think we have it for sporting events, for weddings, uh, travel, uh, just in a smaller, uh, uh, smaller design for people that uh, that are used to a full frame cameras. That really, this is no bigger than some of your high end full frames. Yeah, for sure, I can I can see that and feel that. You know, it has a it has a very nice feel to this camera. Um, uh, who would you say that this camera is targeted towards? You, you mentioned event and, and say wedding photographers and things like that. Um, uh, what about outdoor photographers and travel and things like that? Does it have weather sealing? What's, what's, uh, what's some of that? Like? Yeah, so it is a magnesium alloy body. It is weather uh, was resistant. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's really adapted to cold weather. Um, any, you know, any environment that's gonna be like in humidity, dust, um, anything like that will handle it really well. It, it feels like a very durable camera, a very professionally made camera. So yeah, that's exciting that it has all of that. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, talk to us about the autofocusing and things like that. Uh, what has Fuji done with the autofocusing on this camera? So the autofocus is pretty snappy and a lot of folks that who had the GFX 100 is getting snappy as our X-T3 and I think the focusing on that one, this one right here, I think is snappy as the X-T4 camera. So it could handle any types of, uh, you know, continuous shooting by environments, um, capturing, your, you know, speed, action, uh, anything that you're doing from sports, 
to, uh, we'll say, tracking uh, subjects that are maybe cyclists, things like that, and it's in motion. Uh, it is really good for tracking, both also for face detection and eye detection. So it's pretty quick oh, nice. for that. And if yeah. you notice, we've gone to a different uh, mode dial control on this one compared to our GFX 100. Yeah, I've, uh, I like the that mode dial that's, that's kind of mechanical and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it looks like there are um, not only just one or three custom, but six custom uh, 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 profiles on that that dial that we can mm -hmm. customize this camera and have it really set for the for the environment we're shooting in. So uh, I think that's a that's a great pro feature. And I do like the uh, the top screen here where uh, where the um, aperture and shutter speed and things like that is all. It, it has a really nice, clean, refined. Uh, option and even when you turn off the camera it, those settings still show there so it's kind of nice to know that it, where your settings are at even before you turn on the camera it's a little bit larger than the lcd that we have on the gfx 100 because we have the room by eliminating some of the other uh, surface of uh, you know some of the buttons so it's right. uh, pretty clean yeah it is a it is a very clean camera uh, when i first you know, looked at this camera, opened up the box and saw it. That's one of the things I, I noticed right off the bat was how clean the the design of this and the feel of it was really, I mean, just solid and, and all the little curves and grooves and things like that in, in just the right place to, to hold it. So uh, I really like the camera uh, ergonomic and, and yeah, like you say, all of those features there. So Lewis, uh, this camera has a new Film simulation. What can you tell us about the, the new film simulation? So the new nostalgic uh, film simulation, sort of kind of your retro back from the 70s. Uh, it's not a particular film. It's a particular way that you print it the days of the, the days of the paper you print it from. Had yeah. a sort of a softness, uh, some a little bit of sienna and the blues and the skies. It just it was a particular look. You could customize it. And so it's more of a 70s look, but it's not of a film style, but a look from a, during the printing days on this back in the 70s. You know what? That's so cool. I love how uh, Fuji has all of these really, uh, really cool uh, simulations. I mean, I, I love uh, classic chrome and things like that. It, it just has such a good look to it that, uh, uh, yeah, I love what they're what they're doing with that. So I'm excited to to test that out and kind of see what it does and what it looks like. Yeah. That's exciting. Um, let's talk a little bit about this lens that's, uh, this is exciting too, uh, that we have the 80 millimeter 1.7 lens. Let's, uh, let's talk just a little bit about that. Oh, yes, Les. Uh, yeah, it's one of our new uh, portrait lens. It's, uh, it's a one of the, I say, probably the fastest 1.7 lens for medium focus, autofocus of a lens on the market. Um, uh, it's, um, Sort of your mid-range uh, portrait lens. Uh, other lens we have is our 110 2.0, and this one's an 81.7. Um, the way we priced it, it's going to make it very affordable, very compact. It's a nice match with the GFX 100S, um, but you could tell in your hands uh, it's a good, good fit. Yeah, you know uh, the size and things like that of this camera is. Uh... A, a, a camera and lens combination here together is it, it feels really good together and uh and yeah that uh that 1.7 uh yeah that's that's pretty impressive to get that fast in a medium format camera uh, yes that, that is just uh pretty cool it's exciting we're, we're we're living in exciting times aren't we yes we are <laughs> and i think we are also going to have a uh, arca swiss uh sort of your metal grip on that so um it will be built to part of the bottom base so there will be right, some accessories yeah. for this camera too. Nice, nice. Um, so the lens is, uh, what was the price on the lens that, that's, that's coming in at? Uh, $24.99.95 and the GFX 100S, it's uh, $599.95. All right. And both both the lens and the camera body should be around on sale for around March, March 11th. Um, we should be looking at that date pretty close. We're, uh, we're very excited for that. And, uh, and March 11th can't come soon enough. And I uh, yes. uh, want to thank you for your time and, uh, and talking to us about this new and exciting camera. 